What's going on guys, it's your boy KC, we are here with FIFA Mobile today, and we have Team of the Week day in FIFA Mobile. I know we did Team of the Week yesterday with Madden and with NBA, we are back with FIFA, we are going to go and open one of these bundles right over here. Cross your fingers guys, I'm hoping to pull an Elite, we have yet to pull one out of Team of the Week, this could be the day though. So we start off with 30 Team of the Week points, and you know we're guaranteed, I think, 4... Is it four gold players per pack? This looks like it was three gold players. I'm not 100% sure it was guaranteed, um, but we're going to keep pulling these packs and see if we can pull any red paint. So we start off, I guess it's three golds that are guaranteed, two silvers and three golds that are guaranteed in each pack. So we're going to keep going here, trucking along, hoping to pull some red paint. Like I said, it's the, I have yet to pull any elite team of the week players. We get three more golds here. We're really we're gonna use these golds anyway. We're gonna use them to train our other players up. So it's not not the worst thing in the world to be getting these silvers and golds because I'm gonna use them to train my other team of the week players that I have in my actual lineup right now. Um, but what we really want, we really want to see an elite team of the week player. That would be absolutely awesome. Um, I have heard from. Some of the other game changers, some of the other guys that I talked to here and there for, uh, for FIFA, they have not really had a lot of luck with these Team of the Week. It seems the pull rates are pretty low, um, but we are going to try it out and see if we can get anything. Although it's not looking good because we are on our last pack and then we're going to have the topper here. So I don't know that we're necessarily going to actually get anything. We get no elites out of the packs. Let's see if we get anything out of the topper here. We get one, two three four gold players no elites that is uh, it's a little disheartening you can see that there are like six elites that you have a chance at pulling we didn't pull any of them um, that's it's very very unfortunate the way that that works let's see if we can go over to team of the weeks I don't know if there are any rewards you can get with those points I believe there are so you can play the challenge that gives you an opportunity to pull the players as well. I think that's it. I can claim this 100 points here, all gold reserves. I can claim this as well apparently. I'm not sure exactly what I did to earn these, but I'll get 10,000 coins and another gold player, so I'll take it. Five gold starters. What do you need? Obtain the previous reward and get all unique gold starters from this week. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, if you get all of the gold starters for the week, oh, here, and it shows you everything that you've pulled so far. That's, that's really cool. I don't know if this was the same last week and I just didn't notice it. So I'm missing the goalie. That's it. I'm missing, is it Boruch? Boruch? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. That's the only one I'm missing here to be able to get those five gold start, those, uh, what's in the reward here? You get 300 team of the week points and 250,000 coins. Is it 250,000 coins straight up? Oh crap, that's a lot. That's not a bad reward at all. You know what? I might go all out on Team of the Week with this. Let's, uh, I'm gonna save the challenge. Let's, let's play one of the challenges. Let's see what we can do here. You know what? I'm gonna probably play the rest of them off camera. Um, but let's see, because they, they do tend to take quite a bit of time since, uh, you know, you have to play the entire second half. It's not just about scoring a goal or two or, or playing a quick event or a challenge or anything like that it's a full game and these don't tend to be especially difficult so like you see there that was not a great angle um a good shot just not a great angle but we score it and we take the lead there and i don't know how much pressure they're going to really give me on offense i get the ball away with deli ali pretty easily we're gonna go and uh deke our way through here oh i that's the one thing that really bothers me. FIFA's been, other than the pull rates, I think, the, the one thing that really, really stands out to me is the issue with the cameras. That's, I find if I'm playing in the upper part of the screen, it becomes very, very difficult to play the game. There really isn't, uh, there isn't a ton that you can do at the top edge of the screen because the camera kind of fades out and it's harder to see. I have to have my phone close like this. I don't want to be playing like that, that's that's inconvenient for me, and it's just a bit of a pain. Um, but so far we are up to, to zip already, and we've got uh, not even half of the half has gone. So I think we're probably good. Oh, they score a goal! That was a weak kick, honestly. I'm surprised that Oblak didn't save that. I would have thought he should have, but no big deal. We are still winning, and we're going to try to deke our way through here. 
and just get around all of these guys and come in for the nice easy goal and we're back up by two. So I'm not terribly concerned about them scoring because really the difficulty level on these is not especially high. They just kind of give the ball away there. I don't know why. But yeah, you can see that I always... The, ones, the one strategy, it's not really a strategy, but the one thing that I do tend to do in this game is I try to play up the right side and the middle. I try not to bother even going to play up the up the top side of the game because I'm not going to be able to. I know that already. I can tell. Just I know that the camera angles just don't work for me up there. And it's just not some oh that's too hard of a shot. But it's just not something that, that does anything for me. If I try to play up the top side of the screen, I find that I have issues with the camera angle and that I lose focus of my players and I lose focus of what I'm doing. Right, he's probably gonna score here. Yeah, he's gonna score one more there. But there's three and a half minutes left in the half plus injury time if there is any. And uh, we are still up by one, and I'm probably gonna, gonna try to score another goal up here. We're gonna go here, we're gonna deke around there, and we're gonna take that shot, and oh, off the post, but we're gonna get the rebound there. And it's four to two, so we've got this in the bag. There's no way they're going to score two goals in 30 seconds plus injury time. It doesn't look like there is even going to be any injury time. Oh, I missed my kick there, but it doesn't matter. I was trying to just kick the ball upfield. Four to two, we take it. Let's see what we get in the rewards. And uh, if we do not pull the goalie, if the rewards are good, but we don't pull, that was difficulty expert. That didn't feel like expert. All right, so we get 5K coins and we get one of the gold players. You know what? I think we're gonna let's uh, let's head over to the store. We're gonna open up the other bundle because you know what? I feel frisky about it today. <laughs> we're gonna go to it. We're gonna see what we can do with this. We're gonna open up the other bundle. We're still pulling for an elite, but we do need that goalie as well. That would be uh, the last of the starting five players to be pulled. So we're looking out for that goalie. I don't remember his name already. Um, but if we pull an elite, that would be sick. And if we could pull that goalkeeper, that would also be really, really sweet. Because that is the one we need to get that reward. There we go. We got him. All right. So we got Boruk. Boruk, Boruch, however you pronounce his name. We pulled him. That's good. That's an extra reward. And it's 250,000 coins. So we're going to kind of just jump through this. Hopefully we see an elite. I'm not really counting on it, but that's 10k points in and possibly no elite, which is not great, unfortunately. Um, but it is what it is, and at least we pulled the goalie. So we were able to finish that, to claim the reward there. If we pull this elite here, if we can clutch it out here with an elite, we will also be able to open up the next reward, I believe. I think it was one starter elite. Let's see, last card. Oh, let's go! We pull an elite. We get ben Benatia, Benatia. That's not, that's sick. We get an 86 overall center, uh, cornerback, center back. I don't even know what position it is. I'm too hyped on the elite right now um, to be thinking about that. Center backfield, I think that's what it is, right? Center backfield, that, that's what it should be. I'm really psyched with that. Let's go. We get our first team of the week elite ever. Save the fire pole for the very end. That's amazing. That's a great, I think that's the best elite there is in this game as well as a team of the week player, um, or at least in this week of team of the week. I think that's the best one. So we got the three gold starters. We're going to claim that. Look at this. This started to work out nicely. So we get a quarter of a million coins right there. We get that elite starter. I didn't even check the rewards. We get a November player of the month point. That's a, a little underwhelming because I thought that we were going to get more than that based on the other awards, but I am psyched with that. If we jump over to the player of the month for November, let's do that. So you have to obtain all the reserves and all, all gold starters and an elite starter in order to unlock that, which is what we just did. Um, so we were able to unlock one of them. This is week two. So we are on week three. So we didn't do anything for week one or week two. So we're not going to be able to get the player of the month, it looks like. But I am going to take that any day of the week. So we're going to go to highest overall. We're going to update team. And let's see, where is this guy right here? There he goes. Benatia, Benatia. Center backfielder, 89 overall. He is also, because he's unauctionable, he is not a tradable player. Let's, uh, let's use up that 250k that we just earned. And let's try to level him up. At least one level. Let's get him. 2 and 90, get that purple color on him. It looks good. The purple color looks great on the players. So we're going to take that any day of the week. I sh think we should be able to finish this off. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get there all the way just on the training XP that I have. We're going to try. Uh, yeah, I think I should be able to. I've got a couple of 5Ks there. 
Oh, I don't really want to use my 25k, and Rodriguez is going to be, he's going to be tradable right now. So I'm not going to do this yet. I'm going to wait and save it till I get some more players that I can throw in, because that 25k XP, that's a big boost. So I'm not going to use that just yet, but man, his stats look pretty nice. He's a little on the slow side, but he is strong. His heading is up there, reactions are good, marking, tackling, which is what you want from a defensive player. Aggression is high, composure is pretty decent. So you know what, I'm very happy with that. Glad we pulled an elite at the very end there. I'm really happy that you guys came and watched the video. If you liked it, hit that like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet. And check out my NBA and Madden videos as well. And I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your days. Peace!